Drug discovery scientists are increasingly excited about a new research model called zebrafish, which have nothing to do with zebras. The direction of the stripes is different. Zebrafish are tiny, inconspicuous fish that live in big numbers in sweet and brackish waters on the Indian subcontinent. Aquarius love them because they are undemanding and thrive in almost all conditions. For drug discovery, zebrafish themselves are not that interesting, but their offspring are. A zebrafish pair generates about 200 eggs per week, which hatch within two to three days to give zebrafish larvae. Technically, these are not considered laboratory animals. They do not move and do not feed, and they are so tiny they can fit comfortably in 96 well plates, the typical assay format for bioactive compounds. If you wonder about the relevance of testing drug candidates on a fish larva, you are not alone. Zebrafish of any age do not look very much like humans. 70% of human coding genes have an equivalent in zebrafish. Not too exciting if you consider that this number for mice is around 85%, and for chimpanzees, greater than 90%. And they are not a perfect match either. To understand the interest of scientists, you have to remember that the only models with similar scope available so far were a fruit fly and a worm. So a fish, being a vertebrae, is a gigantic step forward. One important aspect is that embryonal development is very similar throughout the vertebrae kingdom. Zebrafish embryos grow their organs the same way as humans, only 20 times faster. Instead of testing potential drugs for efficacy or safety on cultured cells, as is common today, zebrafish offer those cells within a working organ, and that organ can interact and communicate with all other organs around it, creating a multi-organ culture model with a similar body plan and functional structure as a human being. The effect of a compound can be tested on a beating heart, a metabolizing liver, or a secreting kidney. Moreover, in the last two years, many methods have been published that simplify the genetic engineering of zebrafish. You can simulate human diseases by gene mutations, or human genes can be put into zebrafish to see how potential medicines work on those proteins. Targets of interest can be genetically tagged with fluorescent proteins to track the effects of compounds visually through the larva's transparent skin. You can generate large databases containing effects and side effects of known drugs that can be used to classify novel compounds. With the advances in genetic, imaging, and data handling technology, it's not surprising that the field of zebrafish research is exploding and Roche Pred is actively pursuing many possibilities for both efficacy and safety testing in a variety of models and setups. Meanwhile, even Aquarists have taken an interest in the exciting implications of zebrafish engineering. Glowfish is a zebrafish that has been genetically modified to express fluorescent proteins in all tissues. It comes in a variety of bright colors and glows in the dark. The possibilities are endless. But we prefer to stick to drug discovery for the moment.